to some more Millionaire City on Facebook and so today we have saved up a whole batch of money and we are going to expand. Now I've decided that the expansion I'm going to purchase is going to be the expansion to this top edge over here right at the top of the map. Okay so we're going to purchase this plot of land for 60 million. There we are. Right I'm going to save up 30 million right here uh, because uh, I've got a few plans in mind. I've got a plan in mind. Uh, a plan that I have not talked about at all and I have not really realized that I could do. Uh, but uh, you'll notice this sort of land over here. Uh, I deleted one of the blossom houses because I'm going to replace it with something. You will soon find out what that is. First of all though we are going to start by building in this area over here. Uh, now this area is pretty decent land uh, because this is an area where I can um, potentially build the bank. Uh, I can potentially build that in here because that will allow me to capture both of the really big buildings uh, and um, thus give me lots of tenants for the uh, the bank clients mission. Uh, there is a bank clients mission. We need about 500 clients. There we are, 529. Those two buildings will instantly give me two, uh, 200. So let's see how we get on. So one of the options could be to build some super skyscrapers and all that jazz to um, try and capture as much as possible. Uh, let's have a look then. So the bank would fit like there. So we'd have to build a fair amount of buildings if we were to succeed. Uh, right, so the top end is covered. Right, so say I were to pick up... Uh, uh, that just for a second. I'm just going to pick it up for a moment. No, so I could fit that in there, and I could also build one next to it, and that'd be 140. And the bank should still be able to cover that, which it indeed would. Okay, so let's try that then. Uh, so we'll go with the super skyscraper approach. 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 My goodness. Uh, is it for? It's four, is it? Yeah, it's four. Okay, so it's four by five. So let's build two of these at this top end. In fact, I've got a, an interesting idea actually of what I'm going to do. This is this is the uh, the area which all the really tall towers are in. So uh, I'm not going to be surprised. All right. So let's build another couple. Well, well, lay out the plots for another couple of ridiculous super skyscrapers. Right, so let's lay out some of that. Right, so we could also build some additional buildings around here. Uh, for instance, um, I'll just grab the bank again. Right, okay, that would mean I would capture the extra building over there, which helps. So I can probably build about three super skyscrapers here. And the problem with this one, it is going to be behind the uh, the Williams Tower, but uh, we should be okay. Okay, so that's 140, 210. Yeah, I think we should have this if we do this approach. So let's build a super skyscraper up there. And have something standard in here, like a, a normal skyscraper maybe or something. So we'll build a couple of uh, like normal skyscrapers, 210, 300, 400, 529, so we tight. Uh, that actually fits perfectly in within the road though, which is really decent actually. So these guys aren't going to have the greatest upgrades in the world, but um, they're going to serve their purpose for the bank, really. Uh, let's just zoom out and collect all our commerces real quick. A little bit of extra money in the bank as well, which is always handy to spend, mainly on plots, I would have thought. <laughs> Right, uh, no webcam today because it's really dark in the room and it would look a little bit weird. So no webcam for today. Right, so let's bring the road across through to here. Like that. Uh, probably carry it on along here as well, I would have thought, up to the top. Sounds good. Uh, we can then possibly 
do something a bit like this. And I could probably join that up to there as well. Alright, so what I could probably do instead here then is move the skyscraper over by one. I've clicked on plots, thank you very much. It's a plot, thank you very much. Jeez. So I'll move that over one, uh, delete the plots on this side. Uh, so that way we have enough. Right. Um, we could potentially build another commerce over this side uh, to capture all of this jazz. Uh, we'll probably go up with a couple more uh, large um, skyscraper luxuries over here. Go up with a couple of those, uh, which can be captured by commerce. Maybe build another flower shop. Build one of the flower shops. That will, of course, capture the. Um, should hopefully capture the super skyscraper. Could potentially just capture the whole lot that's here. I will double check the uh, the range of this. Uh, let's just dive into here. We have a flower shop. Yes, that does cover that. So that should be okay. We miss out one of the blossom houses, but it really doesn't matter. I'm not really fussed about that. So let's put a florist in there. And let's go with something like maybe a loft block luxury in there or something so we'll build a loft block luxury and then over this side what can we build over here maybe we'll go more loft block luxuries that sounds quite good yeah all right build another um big tower at that end what can we actually build something a bit different i think over there come on how is this Thank you. All right, we'd like to something tall or skyscraper-ish. Parisian townhouse is a possibility. Okay, luxury. I have got something in mind. I don't know how much it is there. I can't remember. This one, the leisurely skyscraper. How big is it? Oh, okay then. Why don't we build a couple of those over this end? The leisurely skyscrapers. That sounds good. Just something a bit different, and it's tall, so we like the big buildings. Let's go for a couple of those. We can put in some decorations at the top there, can't we? So this is going to be expensive. So we're going to have to work on this quite a lot, uh, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. Uh, it's going to enable us to increase um, increase our income by a hell of a load. Because all these buildings that we're planning to build are really good when it comes to income. Uh, so let's go ahead and zone in some um, spruces, that kind of jazz. Just to increase the uh, further increase any potential income. Right, so can I build on that plot? No, I can't. Okay, hill. Oh, they're out of range. Oh, that's not good then. Uh, we'll have to put something else up on the hill. Right, if that would delete, that'd be fantastic. Right, so what else can we build over there then? We could build some of the lamps, that'd be quite nice. Now, yeah, the Art Nouveau lamp. A couple of lamps on the hill. That sounds good. Once it captures what we've already got, then it's fine. Okay, we can now have a line of spruces up here. Uh, which is going to massively help some of the buildings that we've got there. Considering these are probably out of range uh, of the channel pieces, I, I would guess that anyway. Yeah, they're just out of range of the channel pieces, those two top buildings. 
Uh, so it's quite good, I think, to have these cruises. Give them at least some income boost. They also look good. They're good at uh, dividing. So these guys go the luxuries and have some significant boosts. Right, so I suppose we could uh, potentially get one of the florists up, or the florist, so that's going to capture all of this, which is great. So let's get that built. And I suppose in a way we could also get the bank built. We might as well get it up uh, so we can watch it grow. Make sure we've got enough tenants. Right, so it's only 40, 210. 210, 410. 70. We're just about going to make it, I think. It's just about going to work. We will just about have enough tenants to fulfill the uh, the mission, which is great news. Right, so. I want to keep 30 million because I wanted to do some spending down this end. Now, uh, what I actually wanted to do uh, was originally to get some... Um, Hopefully get somebody to send me another Blossom House, or win another Blossom House. But I've decided on something a little bit more epic. Uh, so let's zone these in with spruces. I'm just going to give a boost to the uh, Super Skyscraper. We are going to dive into the Craftables. And I'm going to build this monster here, the Embassy Tower. And have a look at how big this is. If you thought the, uh, the tower over here was big, look at this. It is actually taller. So let's see how good this is. So I'm going to build that right there. It has got 133% house bonus. Not quite as good as 161, but still. Uh, it's one of the craftables. We'll see how good it is. But my god, it's tall. So more tall buildings over this end. This end is also going to be full of tall stuff. So I think we're going to get some really good income generation over here. Uh, just out of curiosity. Let's have a look at how much potential income we're looking at over this way. It all has bonus. Oh, it doesn't actually show you. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Right, so we're going to get some good income. I mean, uh, a hostess in one of these um, is 480,000 without any upgrades. Uh, this one over here is not going to have that many, uh, but still, uh, it's going to be in the 600,000s at least when it comes to income, so that's fantastic. Extra 600,000 each day is not something to be sniffed at, especially when we've got three of them. That's an extra 1.8 million a day, and I will not say no to that. But there you go then, so next time I think uh, we're going to save up about 30, 40 million. Uh, 45, 50 million, maybe a little bit more, just to build some more stuff in this top end over here. Uh, but for now, that's it then. Uh, so thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Millionaire City on Facebook with me, Matt Digimato.